In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can demonstrate to students hotspot island formation. To show students how hotspot works, all you're going to need is an aluminum pie pan. You can use a square one or circle, it doesn't matter. A candle with a lighter, cornstarch, and water. All right, we are going to make an almost like a oobleck if you've made that before, slurry in your pie pan. To do so, we usually use about two parts cornstarch to one part water. Um, if you wanna measure it out, you can. I kind of usually just eyeball it. And mix as I go. light your candle and talk to students about what these things represent. So we know that we have heat coming from Earth's core that's radiating out through the layers and the, our slurry here, this mixture, is going to represent the asthenosphere and Earth's crust, okay, that upper part of the mantle. You're going to be taking your pie pan and holding it directly over the flame. So heat's going to be coming up through the bottom of your pan. As you do so, you're going to want to have students gather around or put it under your document camera so they can see better. We're going to see little, um, we're going to call them islands form, okay? Um, but these hard spots in the cornstarch that are going to solidify. And then after you have an island, slide your plate over and form another one. And then talk to students about Earth's plate motion. And then slide it over again, have another island. So by the end, you should have this chain that's similar to the Hawaiian Islands. All right, so I'm going to take my pan and hold it over. It does take a little bit of time, so you can be having a conversation with your students about what's going on. Um, I'll time lapse it for you so it goes a little quicker and you can see what happens. All right, so hopefully you can see that I have three islands that formed, these hardened cornstarch areas, okay? And so you can talk to students about plate movement. So this is evidence that we do have plate tectonic movement. Um, so with Hawaii, we know that the youngest island is the big island of Hawaii that's still erupting. So that would be the most recent. And then the further they get away from the big island, the older they are back in time. Thanks for watching. If you want more science teacher tips, be sure to hit subscribe.